These things are written for us to believe. In fact, we will start to understand from there that all these things we are reading. They are written for us to believe. So we will never understand this John 6. But if God can take us to John 2, We'll begin to understand that so, there were many signs that the Lord has done. I wanted to tell you that uh, John 2 verse 11 if we read we, we found that the disciples were the only ones who believed. After they saw that miracle. When I'm taking you to John 2, I want you to understand John 6. Verse 11. Because this was a geography of the place. John 2, the Bible says that there was a, a miracle done in Cana. Cana was in the middle of Jerusalem and Capernaum. We began to see that Capernaum was the place where Jesus was staying all the time. But he didn't do that miracle in Capernaum, he did it in Cana. So he changed water to wine. When Jesus was living on earth, he was searching for the people who would believe. He understood that in Jerusalem there was a fleshy life and they drink wine, but in Capernaum they drink water. And this was the town of Cana. Where people were mixed Others were suffering, others were enjoying. And he agreed to start that miracle, though the time was not yet come. And the Bible says the rumor went up to Jerusalem and also coming down. To extend that when Jesus moved towards Jerusalem, already the people and also the Sanhedrin were understanding that Jesus was a man of miracles. Abantu namasanhedreni babe sebe konda ugutu chesu wae indota yezbona galiso. He reached there and chased everyone out who were sailing in the church. Wafi gala payana e sondweni wa kipa bonke ababe daisa endle ngangulungu. But when they approach him it's like they knew that he would do that. But when they come to him, they say, what kind of sign can you do for us? They had signs. But those signs were not leading them to believe. They were still crying 
to see other signs. Babesa ka la bekale luguti babone zinye futi ibona galis. They approach Jesus and say, which which sign can you do for us? Inda babesa na yu babeti isi pesi ibona galis onga senzela so. To prove that you are the one who's called Messiah. Uguti usbona e usboni suguti gempe lungulo Messiah esimlinde. And the Bible says. Liti ibaibeli. Jesus printed it himself. Ujesu wazi komba yena. And said. Destroy this temple. What he delivers the temple, and I will raise it up. Me nangizo gulufusa. After three days. Emva go inzo go intatu. They were hearing that. Babegu uzalo. They were not understanding. Kote babenga kundi. But the Bible says he, when he left, he went back to Capernaum. Liti Bible ligo danges kate se hamba wa pindele Capernaum. But there was one man who was among them. And his name was Nicodemus. And the Bible says he followed him in Capernaum in the night. If we read John 3 verse 2. The Bible says he came to tell Jesus. Jesus we all know. What is Jesus? So in case he has that you have been sent by God, because no one can do what you are doing unless he has been sent from God. Si has uguti we na utunye lo ngulungu lungo mage kongenza lezito zenza yo na pande gogo be tunye lo ngulungu. Jesus began to prepare him to a level of making him to believe. U Jesus wakala wamlungi semlungi selu guta fige ezinge ni lo guti akole. He look at Nicodemus. Wabugu Nicodem. And sees that he has studied too much and wasted all years, but he has not yet born again. Wabonu guti Nicodem usefunde kakuulu wamoshi mnyage mningi kote kakolongo nkulungu. Nicodem reveal what the Sanhedrin, the leaders of the churches. And the followers that they know is Messiah, but they cannot believe in him. Wave zauni kote muguti bonge abaholi bangale saska tibe banja babe bonu guti uye umesaya kodo benga kole logien. We are living in a time whereby we are still going to see more signs, see more wonders, but. Will fail to believe in God. Si pilas katini la si zoboni bonagali se iningi si bonenga meshe tu kote si feile uguti si kolo. The Bible says after he spoke with Nicodemus. Little by little, enva uguti se kulumi le no Nicodem. He decided to say, let me go back there. Why say I shall let uguti angu ye le la pa ya. Let me go back to Jerusalem. What angu yele mungu Jerusalem? But before he reached Jerusalem, God angapam gugu tafige Jerusalem. The Bible talks about there was a time he went to Cana. I just want to shorten my story. Little by little, God neskati la aya e Cana. And when he was there, neskati se figi in. One man sent some people. In the day you order ya tumela abanya band abamba. And say my son is about to die. Yati indota na yami isi zofa. And the Bible says that man was a noble man. Liti paipe li leyo ndota ya iso npegi. I want to tell you what happened that time. Gita lugu kutu lugu tukwe nzega anigle soskat. The Bible shows that when Jesus moved out one day from Jerusalem. Liti paipe li ngeli nilanga uche su wapu ume Jerusalem. He wanted to go back to Capernaum. Because what was happening was Capernaum was down, Cana was here, Jerusalem was here. In the end, they go to Capernaum. They pant la paya. They cana. They paga. They Jerusalem. They pezu. Because Jesus was searching who's going to believe. Gang ma wutu ujesu waye pega efu nugu tu bano zokol. That day he didn't use the road. Galelo langu chesu akasi mensanga umkwa koye kani. And the Bible says he decided to use the road to Samaria. Uliti paipe luwa sebenzi saa ii umkwa koya e Samaria. When he went to Samaria. Ngezikate saya e Samaria. He reached a place called Saika. Wafige nda wenebizu wange Saika. I was asking myself why he did that. Bengi ibuzu kuti wae gwenze la niloku. When Jesus was looking at Samaria. Ujesu ngezikate buga i Samaria. He wanted someone who will believe. Waefuna umundu ozo kolwa. He wanted someone who would tell people the truth. Waefuna umundu ozo chela bandu ikini iso. But he just found a woman. 
And that woman was changing men. And low moon was fazan why she abandu I can't say she was a prostitute. Again, Gishu would wear my horse. I can't say she was a slave queen. Again, Gishu would wear a slave queen. But she was changing men. Got away, she and my daughter. And you can see that there is a gift beyond the changing of men. And we are born in Guti, Begu Kona, Isi, for Esunga, Lego, she and my daughter. And say, if I can speak with this woman. If she's able to reach every man, she can be able to reach everyone. Jesus could see a gift in a person that is not needed. Jesus could see a gift on someone that many of us we can reject. Because he was searching for someone who can believe. He was going around searching and he found that woman. And when he reached there, when this woman came, he addressed the activities that she normally does. And this woman began to say, yes, I can see you're a prophet. But she could not end in a level of believing he is a prophet. Look here, Nicodemus says, we know that you people here, you, are, you person, you are coming from God. That's, that's why I came. I know you are coming from God. He, he couldn't see Jesus as a prophet. He came to say, I believe. So, but this woman now, was beginning to say, I can see a prophet. And he, when, when, when Jesus told her about how to believe, she began to say, I also have my prophet. I, I also have my church. And Jesus was saying, hey, it's no longer issues of worshipping there in your church. He who believes live for God every day. He who believes trust God and does not live by the time of now or of tomorrow. He understand that God's time is always the best. We began to see this woman try to dodge around, but later she believed. And she ran to people and called people there. And say, Come and see this person. It might be a Messiah, this person. It's no longer a prophet, it might be a Messiah. Because this person can reveal my past. I want to tell you something why I'm saying this. Because of the story of the, of the son of a nobleman. The Bible says he, when he finished, he could not enter Samaria. But he stayed two days with Samaritans in Saika. And the Bible says he traveled and went back to Cana. When the stories were moving everywhere, it reached the nobleman in Capernaum. And, and he sent people for the healing of the son. I understood when Jesus was busy with this woman of Samaria. The preparation of faith in the life of a nobleman was rising. I can see the reasons why 
Jesus could not go to Capernaum when he finished from Samaria. Because our Lord Jesus sometimes he will wait for your faith to go up so that when he reach you, you won't lose what you have received. This is the time for like today when I'm preparing you to believe so that when you are going to be prayed for, you will receive. When Jesus spoke with his word that your son is healed, and when the information reaching the nobleman, he found it was the same time that he said, your son is healed. You can see our Lord preparing the nobleman. You can see our Lord following a woman who was changing men. There was fire in Samaria. There was praise in, in Capernaum. There was worship in Cana. But there was a story in Jerusalem. So everywhere was shaking. So whoever hear, whatever he hear, he must prepare his heart. We are living in a time whereby we only shake one place. Jesus shake many places so that whoever is ready to receive must be able to receive. He was going everywhere searching for a person who's ready to receive. Who's ready to receive? Who's ready to believe? He goes around. Who's ready to believe? Are you ready to believe? When we are, he has shaken everywhere, one day he decided to go back to Jerusalem. In John 5. He went to the pool that we know of Bethesda. And question. Why this man is sleeping like this? Because there were signs of showing he has been there for a long time. And when he checked, do you want to be holy? In other words, do you believe it's me who can heal you? The man began to come with a story. Because in believing there's no story. In believing there's no story of who disappointed you. Who you. Are you ready to receive? Do you want to be healed? And the man said, There's no one who can take me to the pool. He didn't know that. He was lying before the pool of life. He didn't know that the healing was present. It's only to believe that this one can do it. To believe that this one can do it. There, there are many times where we miss what we're supposed to have received because we still have stories of what has happened to us and stories that other people did to us. Do you believe Jesus can do this? Do you believe Jesus can be your savior? Do you believe now you can accept him to be your Lord and Savior? This was a story that is affected because when Jesus went to Jerusalem, remember what he did. This is the story that affected the Jews. Because this time when he went there, 
he was declaring himself that he can do what the father father can do and this raised people who hate Jesus and other wanted to kill him. They, they forget that he is there so that they see the wonders and believe. And if they believe, they will be saved. But the Bible says that when Jesus said what he said to this man, rise up and walk. It's a sign that I can forgive sins. Jesus is the sign that if I can make you to rise, I can make you your sins to disappear. And the Bible shows that the, the hatred rise up. Why he said. He can forgive sins. Liti Bible in Zondo Yakupuga Geskati Esha Uguti Uyagwazu Tetelela Ison. Now we can see our Lord. Manje Sesia Mbona Ngosi. Where we are reading now. Lasifunda Kona Manje. We can see the Lord on John chapter six. Sesia Ibon in Kosi Kuchohani six. We see the Lord moving away from Jerusalem. We see him turning around Galilee. They failed to believe him in Jerusalem. They failed to believe him in Nazareth. Now he's turning around a sea of Tiberias. A sea of Galilee. And when he's turning around, he's searching who's having faith. Who's ready to believe? Do you believe a Messiah? So one day he went towards the mountain. And the Bible says the disciples were with him. Because the rumor that was going around Galilee, everybody was hearing about Jesus is there and they knew what he was doing. He was no longer following them. The Bible says they came to him. When they came to him, he was climbing a little bit of a mountain and sit there. When he was with them, that's when he realized that they are hungry, it's better he feed them. So where we have read, the Bible says, after they were fed, they decided to make him a king. They didn't want to believe. They want him to be a king. In other words, they want to go and cry for, to him tomorrow. They, they, they want to associate themselves that a king is a person who does something that, that cannot, they cannot do. They wanted to go tomorrow and say, we don't have food. Can you do it again? They were smarting of believing in that. So when Jesus sees in their hearts, the Bible says he decided to climb the mountain. When he climbed the mountain and leave disciples here, when they realized they have failed their plan, and they would discourage and disappear. And the Bible says when they disappeared, the Lord was on top of the mountain. They, they know very well they have crammed him. They say if he climbed the mountain, he, will, he won't come back tomorrow. But come back tomorrow. So because he's gone, let's go back. Even the disciples. 
Nabafundi. They say, let's wait until the evening. When it was becoming evening, they lost faith. They forgot that Jesus didn't climb the mountain to pray. Jesus climbed the mountain because he was running away of what they wanted to do. But they believe in Jesus. They say it's better we go back to Capernaum. They take a boat. When they are on the journey in the middle of the sea, a tempest rose up. And the Bible says when Jesus saw them when he was on top of the mountain, he came to them walking on the water. He could not use the boat that was left there. And when he reached there, the moment when he entered, the Bible says the boat reached at the seashore. Already they were in Capernaum. In the morning, those who don't believe in him, those who wanted to make him a king, those who want to receive only, those who think about what to get, they say, we know Jesus climbed there. When he come back, he will pray for us and we will get what we want. They went there where they left him on the other side. When they reached there, they found found the one boat which was empty and the boat of disciples were not there. The Bible says when they waited there they realized that it's not there. They went back to Capernaum. When they reached Capernaum they found Jesus was there. They asked him how did you come here? And Jesus says, I know that you are searching for me. Not for the miracles that ah. will make you to believe. You are searching for me because you want to eat food. It is time for us to search for the one who will do miracles. So, so that we believe. Jesus will say, I can see you don't believe. You are still searching for something. You are searching for me because you want healing. You are not searching for me because of what I will do to you. That is coming from God. You are not searching for me because you have seen the power of God. It is time that all of us here today we begin to understand why we search for God. Because when we search for him, when we find him, even when he does not provide, he is still God. Even when he does not bless us, he is still God. We have been going everywhere searching for him. But we could not find anything. Because what you want from you is to believe it. It is time for you to know that the Lord want you to believe in him. I want to tell you that believe it has got nothing to do with receiving. It has got something to do with your lifestyle. What God wants to do with you is to bring you to live the life that he wants you to live. It is time now that you seek him as you can still be searched. And you take him 
believing in him and live for him many people are discouraging you around they say you have been following him but there is nothing that is happening it is not all about something to happen it's all about your heart relationship with him today when you are here I'm here to tell you that he's preparing your heart so that you walk with him by believing in him he has been searching for you he has been searching for you when he's busy searching for you you are searching for things you are searching for the things that I have to search for you. The Bible says, if you seek the kingdom, all shall follow you. The Bible says, if you seek the Stop following things and start to search for him. When you start to seek, all these things that you are praying for will come your way. It is time now that you believe not coming to church because you are sick not coming to church because you need something Jesus is looking and searching for you he is searching for you and has been waiting for you you are much deceived because you are told you will get this and that there are people who are telling you you are going to get this you will never get them and those things that they are telling you they are small Jesus is above all when you have received me you will be able to say he was unto me is greater than everything around you Christianity is all about believing and believing it has got nothing to do with time even if it can be delayed but as you carry on believing living, God's time will always be the best. When you believe, maybe the blessing that you are searching for, it will still come 10 years to come, but you carry on believing because believing is what is needed from you. It's time now that you must believe whether you don't have anything the Lord spent time here searching for the people who can believe we go to him who can believe today nobody believes everybody does not believe in him everybody believes in what he can get the church is becoming to be like a supplier of things that Christians are trying to get them and that's the reason why Satan now is raising people who promise people to get things because you will always be told that this will happen if I do this on you this will happen if I sit on top of you this will happen if I walk on top of you this will happen if I tell you this this will happen it's time now that you stop to hear this will happen you take Jesus to be your Lord and Savior Amen interpret that is cut manje so go to yege ukamba uzwa bantu beti nzo gnigeza logu tata logu nzo gniga logu uma nkhala pezu wako uzo tola logu is cut so go to utatu jesu mkolwe yena yekta uzo gnigeza gongo kutinga the bible says on the bible says on john 9 on john 9 if you read john 9 you'll be surprised can, can we just read for me John 9 as we are closing? Yes, yes. 
Shake somebody say believe, believe, believe. Nyagaziso se tuze wako umche luguti kolwa, kolwa, kolwa. How do you call yourself a caller and you don't call her? We busy again, Jan. Go to your call. We are going to bring a call. Can you just read verse, chapter nine from verse one? Verse one. In what you got, Johann nine, verse one. What is Zula? What money? Umuntu owa ye impumpu ute kuase guzalo eni kuake. Verse two. Abafundi ba ke bamba zabati. Rabi, gubani owa na yolona. Noma abazali baake. Aze azalwe e impumbute na. Uchesu wapendula wati. Agonanga noma yena noma abazali baake. Kotwa uguze gubonagali iswe guye imisebenzi gangkulu nkulu. Verse 4. Gimelwe ugusebenza imisebenzi yon tumileyo. Kusese mini. Buyeza ugusugu. Lapo ugunge sebenze mtu. Gise kona ezweni. Gingu ukanya kwezi. Verse 6. Stop there. I just want us to look at verse 3. Read it again. Verse 3. Yes. Verse 3. Ujesu wapendu la wati. Agonanga. Noma yena. Noma bazali bake. Kotwa uguze gubonagali iswe guye. Imi sebenzi gankulu nkulu. Here Jesus was telling the disciples. Because they were told that if things are bad, it means there is sin. If things are bad, you are not a Christian. You have to be healed so that you show you are a Christian. You have to be blessed so that you show you are a Christian. Any challenge that you face is because you are a sinner. Jesus says, no. This is the work that I must work. Why do you want Jesus to work when you don't believe in him? Why do you want to work and give you everything you need when you don't believe in him? How do you go to Jesus and say, I want this and that when you don't believe in him? Jesus said, these are the works I must work. Which have nothing to do with sin. It has got nothing to do with the wrong that this man has done. I want to tell you today. As I'm closing, I want to tell you. Don't mind about your blindness and your failure of the past. Don't mind about your lack and the difficulties you are going through. Leave it for him, he will work. You just believe. Many people are making you to see the weakness that you have. Others are showing you that you cannot be associated with. But the challenge you have. Leave it for God. He knows what he will do with it. As long as you believe in God. And that challenge is nothing before our God. It looks like it's a big challenge but to him. It shows that there is something better in your life. That's why you face it. I'm here to tell you that if you believe. And leave your blindness. And leave your leg to him. Even you might have prayed for several times and nothing happened. But as long as you believe, you live. For him. He knows 
why these things are there. We know what happened on John 11. Though Lazarus was a friend of Jesus. When Jesus heard that he died. He could not rise up same time and go there. He took some days sitting one place. Sometimes the Lord can take a year or two years. The Lord can take ten years. But at the end of the day, he is coming coming. He wants people who keep on believing. Today is here. Is here to change your situation. Fill up your heart with faith. Believe all something is about to happen. We are here today to see the breakthrough and the change that the Lord is bringing in your life. The Lord can take three days. Because it took two days. Your situation has taken some time. The time doesn't matter. What matters is how do you believe? If you believe, he is coming your way. That rejection, that failure, that divorce. It must never separate you with the love of God. I'm here to say keep on believing. Keep on believing. It is time keep on believing. It looks like you are failing but you are going there. Your steps are calculated to the destiny that is wanted. Keep on believing. Keep on believing. Keep on believing. Keep on believing. The miracle is around the corner. I said the miracle is around the corner. The tree is certain is for you. Keep on believing. will never happen in the future. Keep on believing. And tell yourself that my time has come. And the Lord knows the time. He's He's about to do it. He's about to change. He's about to raise me. Keep on believing. Keep on believing. Keep on believing. They are laughing at you because they don't know what happened to you. Jesus has been searching for you. Jesus has been searching for you. And today he has found you. You are here today. The miracle is about to happen. Salvation is about to be a portion. It is your time today. It is your time. You can rise up. It is your time. Say it is my time to believe. It is my time to believe. I've been looking at my challenge. I've been thinking about my challenge. I push my challenge aside. I push my problem aside. And I look unto him. I take him to myself. I take it to myself. I take him to myself. It is my time to believe. It is my time. Are you ready to receive him? Are you ready to allow him to enter your life? To work in your life? When you are no longer worried. The Bible says everything works for good. What has happened in the past was working for good. This time, this time something is about to happen. It's about to happen. I say it's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's 